with Andy Woodman after the FA Trophy semi-final defeat 2 on Solihull Moors. Andy, I mean, even as we stand here now, the wind is blowing and I thought, first let's start with that, the conditions were not easy to play in and maybe if you're not on pitch side, it may not have been reflected off the pitch. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. It's a difficult day for both teams. You know, um, we can say it's for both teams, which it is. But um, yeah, it was a tough day. Tough day out there today. Wind, wind wise, football wise, you know, it's going to come down to a moment, um, in my opinion. And um, you know, I, I've, I still, I'm going to say, I can't see how the linesman gives that goal when he's the wrong side of our goalkeeper. And our goalkeeper's in front of the line. I, I don't get it. So that's a big moment for us. And then we get ourselves back in the game and then we just defend poorly, you know, a set piece when we really should be, you know, really all towers up and guns and blazing. I'm, as you can see, I'm disappointed and, and, and I really assure everyone, I'm not disappointed for me. I've been to Wembley loads of times. Disappointed for the people here. You know, the supporters that come out today, the, the staff and, and the players, you know, it's not that they didn't have a go. We just couldn't, couldn't muster up enough at the end. Yeah, it's, you, you say it's not like the team didn't have a go. And I think in the second half, actually, when Solihull got the second, the team that looked like they were going to go on and win the game um, was Bromley. Was it, do you look at it as uncharacteristic um, defending? They looked to be... I'll say it, a bit of difficulty dealing with the big man when uh, he Beck, when he player. came on. Yeah, no, he was a good player. The, uh, the, the guy up top was quick. He ran in the channels. You know, and then Beck come on and, and listen, we didn't get to scoops with Beck. But we, I have to say, and, and it, this will come across as sour grapes because it is, when linesmen give big decisions that go against you and they're big decisions, we had it here at York. You're going into half-time, 1-0. It's the difference. It's so important. And then I get an email apologising, and like, it's you know, it, those moments cost these supporters and these players, you know, a, 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 a day out of Wembley. It wasn't just that, but that's a big moment, you know. And it, it's a different game. We come out again, second half, nil nil. It's a different game. We just didn't do enough though on the whole. Let's be honest. We 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 their keeper made a good save. We pushed and pushed, and uh, you know we. we we, it's cup football, uh, you know. Uh, credit to Solio and good luck to Solio. You know, I'm going to say that. I mean, it's it's the obvious question to ask, but um, there is I, I don't know if the phrase to put on it is a silver lining. It does mean that you can now focus on one particular competition, that being the league. The the, the target was always clear in your head anyway. But I know you wanted to go to Wembley, but does it help refine things? Be like our singular focus is now set. Um, Maybe not now in this particular yeah, moment, this moment, but going forward. It does it because, look, we haven't achieved anything yet. Let's get that really crystal clear. We're all saying this, that, and maybes and ifs and buts. We haven't achieved anything. Mm. And we haven't achieved nothing today. We could have achieved a Wembley final today. That's an achievement in itself. We haven't done that. So we've now got to reset. We've got to regroup. We've got to lick our wounds. And we will lick our wounds. Um, and we've got to make sure we... we uh, you know, get some results on the board and, 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 and just, you know, just get ourselves going again. Clean sheets, you know, I keep saying it. Clean sheets are so important. But it does hurt you when, when the officials are giving some weird decisions. Offside last week and that was two yards offside and a, a ball that was clearly over the line apparently. And I, I don't see it. I've looked it back. It's nowhere near over the line. Yeah, the, it, I will just touch on that because the I, to be fair, looked down because I thought it hadn't been... I just assumed it hadn't been given. And it was only when I looked up and I saw all their players celebrating that. Did you ask at half-time? Or is it something you ask about at full-time? Uh, yeah, I've asked. You know, you get, you get parrot, parrot phrases from them, you know. I, I get they're human. I do that. I, I do. And, and I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. But they're big decisions. And you've got to be 100% clear that that's a goal. And um, and it wasn't, I, you know. I've seen it back. It wasn't. It just can't be. And he can't see it if he's the, that side of the goalkeeper. It's just impossible. So that frustrates me, as you can tell. Um, people are saying, well, you know, they beat you too well, blah blah. The big moments. Um, but let's move on from that. We're out of the cup. We got to concentrate on the league. We've got to lick our wounds because I've got to do that as well. Um, and we've got to make sure. Now we've got four big games, and we've got to make sure we turn those into into six or seven big games. Yeah, and uh, you, you, you say let's turn to the league. I mean, it's Tuesday night. It's not like it's a week a, a week away. Uh, we travel to Barnet on Tuesday. Solihull come back here 
on uh, following Saturday. Gate said we travelled there at the end of the season. So um, is it is it almost a good thing that the quality of the opposition you've got from pretty much now till wherever the season ends is pretty much playoff team after playoff team? Is is that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look, I think I think the positives are we're, it's, it's in our hands, mm. and we've got to make sure we keep it in our hands. That, that's the positive we've got to take out of it. You know, that's the that's the important thing. Sorry, I've got to come back here next week. Um, they celebrated like a team that got to Wembley in, in, in after, and, and rightly so. I would have done the same without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we, we're up for next week and. We, uh, we come out and give a good account of ourselves and, and get some points on the ball Tuesday and next Saturday and, and, and get some momentum going into these playoffs. Um, and then once you're in there, anything can happen. Lastly, um, seen we've seen some players uh, come back in recent weeks. James Vennins, I think he's made some good cameos the last two weeks, to be fair. Um, is, uh, how does it feel as a manager to know that you, you're getting somewhat of your full uh, quotient back? Uh, Deji's not back yet, but... Is it, you're trying to get everyone back in time for the running? Yeah, we want everyone back fit. Everyone's vying for places. Um, and, and now, look, we've, we've got to pick a team that wins. Uh, that, that's what I'll be doing for Tuesday, picking a team that's going to go out there and win. Thank you, Andy. Much appreciate. Thank you.